Hi guys, it's Alyssa, and today I just have a craft update for you guys, and I believe it's craft update number five, and uh, yeah, let's just get started. I'm just gonna start off with like the small stuff right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you bows now. So first I have this zebra one, and excuse my nails, they are gross. And they all have bobby pins at the back, so... Oh wait, not zebra, it's giraffe. That giraffe one. And I have this burlap tape. And I just did this method where it doesn't have the trim. And I think they all look pretty decent. And I just have this natural lace one. This Dollar Tree zebra one. And this camel bow. And Lace Vegas 2 by Scotch. And this was, this took me a really hard time because the tape kept um, curling and I couldn't do anything about it. And it was really hard to make. And then I have just have this Neon Hamster one. And I have this Olaf bow. And it's so cute because it like shows up, Olaf shows up right there, the body is like right there. And last bow I have, I'm sorry if you hear background noise, do not know what my mom is doing. And just have this anchor one. And this is another clip because I forgot to show these bows, but editing. Ooh. Next I just have this flower keychain and it's with neon hounds too. And it has this keychain thing. And I think it's pretty flat, and it looks pretty nice. So, yep. And next I just have this squishy I made for my friend. It's with natural lace. Um, she didn't tell me what tape she wanted, so I just did this. And if she doesn't want this, I'll just make another one. And um, if you can't see, this seam is clear tape, so like no junk gets on it. And then I think this, yeah, this whole side is clear tape because. Then it folds over and all those things are clear taped. And yep, that's that squishy. And next I just have a mini accordion wallet. It is this anchors tape and I lined up the um anchors. Oh wait no, I lined up the lines. And the seams are clear taped and I use clear velcro and you saw the color combo already. It is with burlap tape these two are new tapes and color combo credit goes to emily's dt designs yeah the stripes clear taped and all eight expandables are clear taped and yeah that's that wallet next i just have this new wallet that i kind of made and it is a booklet wallet and i followed not really followed i kind of like Change some stuff. Um, I watched Duct Tape Susie's tutorial and I changed some stuff, so yeah. It's um, Scotty Dogs and seams outside are clear tape. And I attached this and it has clear tape, and the bottom here is clear tape too, so gunk won't get in and stuff. And first, you just have a Ziploc coin pouch there, and you have an ID. For her, she put an ID here, but I didn't like that, so I just put it here, and then it has a hidden here and two vertical card pockets, and this goes down all the way. And next, you have this part, which is what I kind of changed. She had two vertical card pockets here and an ID here, but I didn't like that, so I just did this, and for this part, you can put like your bills, fold up bills. I'm gonna go get a dollar bill and show you guys right now. Okay, so I got a dollar bill and you like fold it up like this. And you can like put it in here. You can just leave it like that if you want, but if you want it to be more secure, then you just put it like that. And it won't fall out and stuff. So it's kind of like your money slot. And then you just have two part pockets and a short and that's this wallet. I think I will be making more soon. 
I think that these are really cute and compact, like for people who don't have many bills. If you do have a lot, I don't think this is a wallet for you. And so next, I just have two bifolds. And the first bifold I have is this. It's Real Tree Camel. And I have low battery, so I better speed up. It's Real Tree Camel, and it's upside down. Shoot. And it, the seams are aside, are clear taped. And again, all these seams are clear taped. And it's just with orange card pockets and black trim, and trims are clear taped. And I think this wallet turned out really, really nice. And yep, my basic layout. Top loader, finally used another top loader. And yeah, this wallet turned out pretty nice. And next I have this bifold, which is graphic swirls, and surprisingly I used two pieces, just like the real tree camel. I also used two pieces that was kind of surprising because usually I have to use three pieces. And then if you haven't seen this wallet in my throwback Thursday number two, you should go watch that. The link will be down below. It was my last video, so it's saying my last video. And I think the inside turned out really nice. And if you want more detail on this wallet, just go watch that video. And you can watch what I remade and look at my old wallet that was really, really bad. And next, I just have this is exciting because it is my first ever trifold, and I think it turned out pretty nice for being my first trifold it's not the best obviously but it's just lace vegas 2 and the seams outside are clear taped and this is clear taped and that seems clear taped you can't see it but in bottom is clear taped and this part is clear taped since it is scotch and i think it will peel and this part too and i kind of forgot to clear tape these parts but they don't really affect it that much I think this turned out really really nice being my first one just has two vertical card pockets and a hidden and then a go through hidden and then a frosted ID and this part is clear taped right there and two more vertical card pockets and I think this turned out really nice and I think this is what they mean by folding evenly both ways I don't really know because first try fold and I think I'm really happy about it since it's my first one and next I just have my second trifold ever it is Neon House Tooth and I lined it up best of my ability to the best of my abilities and seams outside are clear taped it's just with electric blue and seams clear taped and bottom clear taped and it just has this layout again go through and this is frosted and yep I think it turned out really really nice and I am really surprised that this didn't turn out as bad for like a first and second wallet and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this craft update and please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below question of the day um, do you guys watch till the end of my videos because I put a blooper at the end if you do just say yes and go you and so and comment down below some video suggestions and stuff like that and do you like this type of craft update better where I like show a wallet and take it out of the frame or do you want me to like put the wallet in frame but please subscribe to this channel and my personal channel link will be down below and check out my other videos and I love you guys so so much and bye I think I lined it up best to my build.